Alright. Well, I speak English. You have to agree. Please adjust the image on the right. It's barely visible. That's good enough. You can now use Halloween customized. I want to guess all the characters are female in this game. I guess. Or is there a male character too? I don't know. Access. Okay, cool. Halloween shit. You can now use Halloween stamp set. Stamp set can be used. Oh, there are male characters. Okay. I have no idea what this all this stuff is. I'm gonna say this is best play with the controller. Jeez, please, add up. God Eater. Never played God Eater. I've heard of it though. Unless this game has romance in it. Ooh, woo. Jeez, please, Joe. Oh, now you can do emotes. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> Apparently. Quality of life improvements. Well, I assume if I play online, there's I can get invaded. Invaded like in like in a uh, Dark Soul like in Dark Souls. That's the case. We're gonna do offline. So I don't need to get invaded. Yeah, I don't want to get invaded. So we will just do offline. This game has stamina. Camera's fine. What the hell is this resolution? Oh, it's because I'm bored of this full screen. Okay. No, oh, it looks okay on my end, so. Anti lasing, all that stuff. Yep, it's good. Sound settings. Language settings. Yep, subtitles is on. Spoken language, yep. Uh, okay, I guess that's it. We're good. Oh, so it's safe to play online if I need to, if I wanted help? I guess we'll do, we'll do online mode just to see what it is. Okay, that just brings up the store page. There's probably DLC and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay, because you sing Dark Souls, because that's the one thing that never happened to me, as I never got invaded one time. Alright, let's see what this is all about. Good morning. Good morning to you, too. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Think back. 
Search your memory for an image of yourself. Remember... Oh. I guess I gotta remember... Okay. Well... Remember our parents first? Or... That's odd to put the word first in there. I loved... I was like... I never got invaded. I got lucky. I guess I guess with the... I guess I'll remember my name first. I mean, I had to pick both of these decisions, I, I assume. Okay, well, I'll name myself CJ. That's what I normally know, name myself in games. And then Ultima CJ is my code name. So, Oh, well, we could do male or female. I'll probably just, like, if it offers the option to play, I mean, I, I'm tempted to play a female character because, hey, you know, anime Dark Souls. What do you think, Fernum, male or female? I still gotta play Dark Souls 2 and 3, but I, just, I beat Dark Souls 1 under a premise of a bet. And then a friend, as soon as he saw my friend saw the achievement of me beating Dark Souls 1, he immediately gifted me Dark Souls 2. I'm like, you dick. I typically play male in most games, usually. And depending on the, if the, depending on the game, I, you know, dep it depends on the game, though. What do you think, front of male or female? I played both genders. Ah, okay. Uh, I don't know what kind of, I don't plan on doing this playing this twice. It's up to you. Oh, I haven't played a female protagonist character in the longest time. So, and the last game I played, that was, that was some, that was a long, that was a good time ago. That was, uh, you know, that was a Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, we'll go with female. Ooh, woo. Ooh, I got all kinds of appearances here. Let's see. She looks sassy as hell. That's nerdy. That's very tall. Love the afro look. Wow, I give you all kinds of appearances. That's more of a goth, you know, creepy look. That's definitely... Oh, God! more and say yeah I remember you mentioning that so yeah why not we'll do the female just for fun no tour between these two girls let's see what else I like her blondish green hair I'm not sure what to pick I like her with the short hair. Oh, you can zoom out. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty girls. Ooh, uh, this, this game ain't, ooh, ain't, ain't. There's no ooh in this game. I don't think. Well, we're not gonna. Uh, that's just scary. God. That's, uh. Damn. Hmm. I could do the goth-looking girl, or I could do her. Both of these are kind of cute. And that one's also cute with the long hair. Cause I like green. Green, I'm, but if I could turn this to green, I would do the short hair girl. Zeke hair. I want to change. Ooh, I like that hairstyle. Oh, look at that pigtails. No, I like this short hairstyle. I like that. That's cute. Short hair can look really cute on girls when it's done. If it's, I guess it depends on the girl if it's done right. Welcome back, Peaches. What's up with the the chicken emote? Okay, so 
We're going to give her green hair. I love green. Oh, there we go. Ash. Sunlight. Ginger, if I have no soul. Monotone from black and white. Pastels. Here we go. I love green. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? That? I like that green. Green with a tad of white, because my Lullafell characters like that. Oh, proportion of the extensions. Okay, that's about right. Let me pick a darker green. Oh, they got, oh wow, they got all kinds of greens in here. Oh, sweet. Oh, look, purple, purple and pink. There's, there's, there's Kylie Peach's colors. So curly. Moth green. Ooh. Marine blue. Yes, I'm not a big fan of lime. Lime and, and um, uh, olive green are the kind of, oh, that's perfect. I like, that's the most closest, yeah, perfect. And a little shine to it. I think the face is fine. Oh, I see what you mean by the, uh, by the, uh, jiggle mechanics. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, I look angry. I like, well, I have blue eyes, so let's go with blue. I'll go as fast as I can with this customization. Sky blue. Look into my eyes. Will I consume your soul? So, so pretty with my goth looking, demon leaning looking eyes. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, you can even change the pupils. I like that kind of detail. Eyebrows are fine. Makeup. Nah, I don't need that. Face paint accessories. Oh, you can wear a hat. Ooh. <laughs> so I could look like uh, Lady, Lady Dimitrescu from Resident Evil. I don't know. Do I want to wear a... Oh, I got earmuffs. Kitty ears, of course. A witch's hat. That covers up my beautiful hair. Clothing. Oh, you can change your clothing. Okay. What well, I saw earlier. A oh, bath towel. Really? Is that what we're going to go with? Oh, my God. I have, I have blue eyes. I actually have actual blue eyes. Right, we'll stick with the same shirt, but we'll change the color. Let's see. Well, green is my favorite color, so. Ow. 
Acid rain, I like that. Ah, uh, it's a skirt, okay. Oh, that's perfect. Purifier mask. Train hard and train. Hmm, <laughs> shouldn't you be running? Ah! ah! Goodbye. Got it. I'll lead the way. I'll see you. I'm sorry. It's about break time. I have faith in you. I like that voice. That's cute. All right, what do you think? It looks pretty cute. Short hair. Nice bust. Decent, pretty ass. All right, okay, I think that's good enough. I think you have brown eyes, don't you, Peaches? Oh, you can save your appearance. That's a, I like that. That's a lot of cool customization for a game. I've spent, I don't know about you guys, but I've spent almost up to an hour just customizing my character. Seriously, I have spent so much time Customize I mean look at look at those eyes. Oh those eyes. I meant the eyes. Not, not down here. I meant the eyes. Oh hey. Okay. Hmm. Not bad. Alright. Yeah. That's what you look like. Now we can finally meet. I've done that too, actually. Like, da -da 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 -da, and pick that and then fine tune it. Oh, God. I'm already getting Dark Soul vibes. Beautiful looking game, though. What's this? We finally meet. Are you clear headed? You will now be reborn as an immortal creature. The oh, you automatically gives me armor. There are okay. You will need to know in your new life, so listen well. Each revenant has a different power coursing through their veins, called a blood code. The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. Open feel revenants possess special powers known as blood codes. Depending on the specific blood code. Riven stats would differ. To few these stats, select the currently equipped blood code on the menu screen. Those are my stats. How many blood codes? So I guess this is my blood code or whatever, my stats and stuff. There's leveling up in this game, similar to Dark Souls, but it looks like... Oh, you collect souls probably, I guess that's what Haze is. My blood code's currently Fighter, but I'm gonna guess I get to change it later in the game. Okay, so yeah, so check your blood code. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Fighter, okay. My armor and weapons and stuff, okay. Pertinent items up, okay. This must be key items and stuff.
There's titles and stuff. Quick menu. Gesture. Photo mode. Rehint. Settings. Well, I did check my blood code. I, uh... Okay, I'm confused. Ravenous possesses blood codes depending on the Ravenous have stats will differ. I'm confused. Can't be that. Can't be my Xbox button. Oh, you do that. Code, okay. Boost endurance from melee combat. That is a fighter blood okay. Code, which is Never mind. That's what you do. <laughs> Each talent that a blood code bestows is known as a gift. The fighter blood code grants ever increasing endurance. It seems you also have a gift that temporarily enhances your attack power. Try it out. Revenants are capable of using un special unique gifts called gifts. Hi, kitty. Hello. Revenants are capable of using unique techniques such as gifts, which which gift can be used depending on the Revenant's blood code. Passive gifts grant constant effects simply by equipped. Well, active gifts must be okay. RT person hold RT Try using adrenaline Ah oh. oh, okay Yes that will do be warned The effects of a gift this blood comes Oh sorry my bad forgotten themselves and turned into monsters the lost. The lost. You can drain Icor from the lost by striking them with your weapon. Remember that. Those are the basics of a fighter's gifts. Use and learn each of them well. What build did you use for an amount of curiosity? <laughs> LB is guard. Oh, I got a hammer. Let me hammer it to you. <laughs> Ranger, this code excels in providing support and defense buffs with gifts you require in your blood code. Okay. Try changing your blood code to Ranger. Uh, okay. Buff, this code excels in providing support and defense. Oh, with gifts. Okay, kind of like a bard. That blood code is known as Ranger. Oh dear, that weapon seems to be too heavy for you. Rangers are nimble and best at fighting with light weapons. That makes sense. Try switching to a bayonet.
Each recruitment has a stat requirements and way exceeding your weight limits to restrict your ability to dodge attacks. Not mean this will greatly increase your attack power. Yeah, kind of like Dark Souls. The equipment can be changed from the main menu. Both weapon and sub weapon can be changed. These can be switched out without opening the menu. It's a gun. Yes, that's much better, isn't it? <laughs> I got oh, a boomstick. Your bayonet requires Icor as well. That and gifts means Icor always seems scant. That is where the blood veil you have equipped comes in. Using your blood veil will let you quickly drain Icor from the lost. In addition, this can increase the amount of Icor you can hold. If you have a chance to drain Icor from a foe, I'm gonna guess this is like Dark Souls. There's no pause button. Lock on the enemy on sight. Sit there, go ahead. Thank you. RB plus A doesn't do anything. That sums up the Ranger blood code. Yeah, you know, it was called Queen Slayer. Let us try one more blood code. I'm gonna guess there's hidden blood codes to get. Caster specializes in special types of gifts that can be used from a distance. Basically, a mage. Okay. That is what is called the Caster Blood Code. Casters possess powers like magic from a fairy tale. With it, you can use gifts to fire projectiles of blood. Nice. You learn quickly. Bloodshot favors range over power. Let's see. You can learn gifts by touching missiles. Try it yourself. When you are near a missile, per se, to rest near a missile. When you rest near a missile, you can also acquire gifts contained in your blood codes by. Okay. Discover a gift's latest potential. Once you become fully proficient with the gift, you unlock the ability unit. Oh, so it's like basically keep using the uh, ability and you learn it. Okay. Uh, for a matter of curiosity, how long is this game on the average? That wasn't hard, was it? Now since you've learned it, why not try it out? There's also a cooldown ability addition, for it. It's okay. power will change according to the blood veil you equip. Blood veils have different affinities with gifts. It can be complicated, but keep it in mind. Yeah. 
Fighting raises your persistence with any gifts that you're equipped to. Once you reach maximum persistence with a gift, you have mastered it and have equipped it after changing. You can equip it even after changing blood codes. Okay. Gifts do, however, have stat requirements. Even gifts you have mastered cannot be used if you don't meet the stat requirements. I'm gonna fire up my gun, though. Excellent work. It's all quite sudden, but you picked it up, right? The disappearance of your blood code has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. Interesting. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. The strength of others can become your own, a talent that you alone possess. Since you are the only one who can do this, your blood is the only teacher you have. Alright, I guess that's a tutorial. Now, awaken and save the world. Memories were created by implement. Oh, oh, that was a fast loading screen. Hello. Like her eyes. Welcome back. She looks sad. Hello. How are you feeling? I like the shell shaded graphics. That's actually kind of that's that's nice. It's a nice touch. I don't know what that emote means. I don't remember either. Oh, jiggle mechanics. There you go, Fernum. The wind is pushing her boobs. <laughs> Over there. So tired. This this is me right here. That's me right there, just because of this heat. It's so hot. Why is it so hot? Why is it so hot? That's a note in emote. Not oh nodding. Yeah, I'm nodding right now. It's freaking hot. Oh god, why is it gonna be so hot? <laughs> Screw this weather. I just want to get naked in the shower right it's now. It's dry, isn't it? Yeah, it is dry. Dry and hot as fudge. Speaking of, I'm gonna go. Well, you guys view that real quick, cause we can I got. Go slowly. Yeah, I'm gonna go slowly. Hold on a second. I'm right here with you. Unworthy. Just a bit farther. We're all right. A spring will slake our thirst. I had been waiting for such a long time. It's dry, isn't it? Oh man, that's me right there. I'm just like, we oh can my. Go slowly. Yes, we can go slowly. I am here with you. I'm here too, dearly. Oh dear. Here, uh, because I'm not sure. I'm hanging out. I'm hanging out with uh, my friend Toad Salsa. We're going to be doing a stream. I'm not sure of what yet. We're all right. But. 
A spring will slake our thirst. I have been waiting for such but a But I might do this for mon uh, Monday evening for my after, because I can do an after hour stream this coming Monday. It's dry, isn't it? Hey, there you go. I'll put a pole up for We can go slowly. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Hiccups. I am here with you. Damn. I hate when I get the hiccups like that. Jeez. Just a bit farther. Okay. <sighs> We're all right. <sighs> We're all right. I like her voice. It's very soothing. A spring will slake our thirst. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. I could, uh, man. I don't know why it's so hot. It makes no freaking sense why it's so damn hot. I've been waiting for such a long time. What have you been waiting for a long time to? Uh, never mind. I'm not gonna ask, girl. I'm so high. I need water. It's dry, isn't it? Her voice is very ASMR and gentle. I like that. It's I like a soothing voice like that. That's, a, that's like a mommy voice. <laughs> no, I don't want to play. You knocked over my stuff, cat. It seems everyone, everywhere is thirsty. Stop! There is a spring that will cure that thirst. One that weeps tears of blood. Jeez, that's brutal. That's what they said, anyway. This way. <gasps> I'm angry. Oh no. It's all right. It's all right. <sighs> Are you going to bite me? Oh shit, she's gonna bite my wrists. Are you a vampire? Hello. Well, this guy a little uh, kinky. Oh, my eyes. I had too many Twinkies. So, it is you. No idea what's going on at the moment. Ooh, look at the that look at that big ass apple. Uh, here. This is for you. She my mommy. That's a worthy screenshot. Hi, mom. A new spring and a fresh source of labor. <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. Uh oh. She got a creepy ass look about her, just with that cock in her head like this. On your feet! We're about to go hunt for blood beads. Hurry up and get ready. Oh, I guess I got arrested because I just passed out. Here we've been. <laughs> Whoa. Keep it down. Your friend just fell asleep. So, what happened to your masks? Forgotten about those too, have you? I'll tell you whatever you want to know, but first, go back there and put on a purifier. The 
view never improves, does it? He came back home after the war against the Queen and found this mist. Booty. Getting close to it causes enough pain to drive you mad, so no one has ever crossed it. There's nowhere to go home to, even outside of this prison. Okay, you can't fall off pits. Man, that's pretty dismal. There's no way we're gonna find blood beads. The missiles all dried up and the miasma keeps getting thicker. Telling us to look for blood beads here is just crazy. Are you going to kill me too? Anything for a kick, right? Just don't crush my heart. Stop already. My body may still be alive, but my soul died long ago. No one could stay sane after dying again and again and again and again. Jeez. Don't take my memories. My family. I have nothing left. Killing and killing and killing and over and over and over. That does sound gross. Wandering, they say, the folks up there. They might live in safety. But because of their levy, we have to risk our necks to collect blood beads. Just you wait. One day, I'm gonna make thralls out of a whole lot. Hey, what do you got to say? Yeah. Looks like the folks upstairs want you. Well, they can wait, can't they? More importantly, that mask suits you. Without those things, we revenants will join the ranks of the lost in a flash. Oh, uh, so it's like a like an oxygen mask or something to prevent from getting infected. So, what do you want to know? What is this? According place? to the folks up there, it's a place to keep laborers who gather blood beads. More concisely, slave. slave. I figured as much. So the rest. So basically, the air is kind of infected, kind of like the spores from The Last of Us, in a way. A human that died but got kicked awake again. That's what you are, a revenant. Ah, uh, I'm an undead. As long as your heart is intact, you'll keep coming back. But you have to drink blood, and you'll become one of the lost. Oh, lovely. It's ironic. Like a vampire. Creatures made to fight the horrors of the Great Collapse now have to fight their own fallen kin. Each time we die, we lose some part of our memory, be it big or small. It's usually nothing important, and you don't even notice you've forgotten. Well, your case is a little rare, I guess. The lost are rather what are the lost? who succumb to bloodthirst and turn into real life monsters. If our heart is destroyed, we turn to ash. But the lost don't care if they're left with no heart. Still, it takes them a while to come back, which makes them like us revenants. What is this mask? The air in this place is something in it that speeds up the bloodthirst. We call it my asthma. asthma. The mask helps filter it out. Missile purifies the air nearby, but it's been drying up lately. Just like the blood springs. Be careful where you take off your mask. Unless you want to join the lost. Ah, oh, but I just never take off my mask, period. <laughs> Missile is a sort of plant that purifies miasma and renders it safe. It's one of the successes of Project Queen. Even if it withers, it can be brought back with medicine made from the Queen's blood. But there's no hope of that now. If activated missile turned up somewhere, be a big it's true. I would be stinky from slobbering over it. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Are you going to kill me too? Okay. So climb up. Probably stop in a couple minutes. Like I would. I just wanted to dive into this and just give a give a feel for it. So I play as a silent protagonist. There's probably no pause button, so I gotta be careful when to pause the game. This one's dry. The miasma's pretty thick. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. 
Right, I'm on my way. <laughs> all dried up, just like the others. Y yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's. Ow. You know what these are, right? Candy! Blood beads, right? Cherry candy. Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. Wh why does it have to be Post us? Post-optic time Don't ask vibe. me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! I stand out with my beautiful green hair. Whoa there! You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. post optoclyptic times, that's for damn sure. You heard him. Move yeah. it! Ouch. Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. <laughs> when you rest near a missile, your HP and regeneration are used to restore along your Icar. However, Icar does not return We're to normal. Find a blood beat if it's been increased by gifts, you can also require gifts in your blood codes by selecting acquirement gifts. Lastly, be aware any defeated enemies will revive after you rest center. Oh. So it's just like uh, like Dark Souls. I'll just stick with the fighter right now, and then I'll eventually uh, check out the other classes. It's called the Pipe of Foul Drum and the Hammer of Throne Dome. Ah! It's Rubar! What the fuck? There's my map, okay. And the percentage of completing it. Gee. How do you restore health? Is the question. Uh, okay. A Let's... dead lost. I've never seen one before. I say dead, but they're not really dead. It's just a dormant state before they turn into real monsters. So I've heard. Sometimes it takes years for the transformation to start. So we can just leave them. The enemy? What is... Yeah, 
Okay, so there's definitely there's no pause button, so let's just sit here for a second. Control settings. What does What is the what is L2 or or L1 or L2? This is R2. What is that controller? What's that claw move? Uh, yeah, it doesn't say. Uh, what is that claw move? I don't know exactly what that is. I don't. I'm not sure what that means. Walk on. Weak attack, strong attack. Drain is A. B is George. Parry is L. Oh, that's L T O. That's Parry. Okay. Unworthy. So that's block. That's Parry. Okay. What's unworthy? I don't know. Interesting. Oh, I died. Whoa. You have to use whatever you can to survive. Down here. That looks like death. I don't want to go down there. Upgrading using an upgrading regeneration. HP can recover through the use of regeneration. Resting a near missile will regen will fill your regen stock. The number of regens in the amount of HP recovery can be increased by using regen extension factor and regen activation factor. Regeneration can be used as items while exploring. Ah. Okay, so it's basically like your your flasks from Dark Souls. Yeah, go play Dark Souls. There's no pause button in that game either. Whether how punishing this game is is my is my curious question. Uh, because like in Dark Souls, in Dark Souls, if you quit the game in any kind of sort of way, like rage quit or whatever, you got punished for it. The game crashed, you got punished for it. It's was not a forgivable game. <laughs> Ah, okay, that's... Okay, that's my stamina. Okay, so that's my stamina down there. So it is very similar to Dark Souls. Is there something good in there? Heavy axe. Equipment and restrictions. Each piece of equipment has a stat requirements weight. It's leading. Okay, but that's it. Which way do you think is better? I don't know. Which way is better? Reviving haze. You lose any haze in your position when you die. Lost haze proclaimed by returning to the when you die. Yeah, just like Dark Souls, but. Yep, yeah, just like Dark Souls. Okay, so haze is what's used to level up and all that. Okay, so yeah, it's good. There's some redeeming qualities. You don't just get punished, you just. Get uh, well, you do. Uh, no, actually, if, like, I've had game crashes, I've gotten, and not myself, I've gotten upset at Dark Souls 1. 
Whereas I, Alt F4 just got mad. I lost. I was involved in the middle of battle or whatever and said, screw it or whatever. I lost all my stuff. I literally lost all my stuff. That works. Oh, I got hit. There's a lot of boxes. Do you think they're all empty? feel dizzy. Okay. I didn't expect to get a partner right away though. That was that's kinda cool. Wow. What is this money I guess? What's that doing there? Oh Acker Conjure. Focus state. Your focus gauge builds as you get hit or dodge enemy attacks. Once it is full, your stamina will be replenished and you will be entered in a focus state. You become harder to stagger and can easily move through staggered enemies. You can also gain the ability to knock enemies into the air and perform a drain attack on one. Oh, I can eat people. Okay. Music. That was my that was my being an idiot. I got you get used to the stamina system. Ass. You could use souls, but those are easy. Yeah, souls were Dark Souls was hit or miss when it comes to farming stuff. Oh, there's booty over here. Not that kind of booty. This kind of booty. Is there something good in there? Goss bayonet. Hello, DoorDash. Yeah, I'm fine, really. <laughs> that wasn't very convincing, was it? These masks are the old type. Hard to breathe in them. How are you doing? That girl, she's your friend, right? We should find some blood beads and go back for her quick. So off well so far it hasn't started off hard yet, but Oh! Slime. Yeah. Nice try, jump scare. Time is it I gotta stop in a second. Look out above us. I'm actually gonna head back, because I do gotta so those, those things back there, is there no run system? Damn, that's a, that's a pretty, that's parry. Okay, so there's no running in this game, bomber. But let me head back, I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, I gotta stop in a bit, cause I gotta get ready for work. Let me head back to that missile thing, and we'll just pick this up where we left off last time. Good opening. I don't mind making this into the current main game on the plate to give it a shot and see if I like it Walk or not. Walk carefully. Uh, I believe it was back this way. Yeah. Did I not get a map? Oh. Yeah, it just kind of gives me a map, kind of not. I believe this is where my yeah. Be 
ready for anything. I guess it won't open. Ah, locked Take. duty. If that ladder was down, we could get up. Ah, so level up. You can. So basically, haze is used to level up, right? Uh, Fernum, just like in Dark Souls. I only guess this game auto saves a lot as is, but yeah, um, that's you know because hey, like hey, I think they were called Souls and Dark Souls. I think that's what they were called. Not a bad game so far. Just opening impression. I mean, we only got a chance to play what maybe close to an hour into it. It's the currency, okay? So it's used for everything in there. All right, not a bad game. You know, it's like opening impressions. Uh, let me go look to see. Will I make? Will I be playing this Monday evening, or should I play something else Monday evening? Yes, please. All right, I'll do that. Hey, so, space out on me. So after, uh, unless unless Big D isn't free, aka Toad Salsa, he's not free on uh, then I'll uh, on Monday. Then I uh, we I will play. I if he's not free, then it'll be a much longer stream, like a good six or seven hours into this, because I'm off Monday. That's pretty much up to him, but more than likely he'll be free, so uh, we'll be doing a stream on Monday uh, Monday evening around around 8.30, 8.30 Central Time, like an hour and a half, and I think we're going to do Contra, uh, the, the, the NES one. So I think that's, that's the plan. So let me go ahead and stop this. Thanks for watching the VOD and all that.